You get up there in age and feeling stiff? Well, check it out. Mobility is even more of a must. Stick around and watch my essential mobility exercises to keep you loose. Let's get at it. Okay, so let's just start off again, like I always say, from floor to core. These are the exercises that I do myself to keep myself loose because again, when I started bodybuilding, I put my mobility on the back burner. I was way more flexible when I was playing football and really keep myself loose. And then bodybuilding came in and I got a little stiff. And now I'm 40 years old and I'm continuing to work on mobility for the last three years. So here's some things that are gonna help you out. And look, if you're young too, you should be watching this just as much because if you wanna avoid what I'm going through right now, watch this video. Anyway, let's get into it. From the ground up, super simple. Again, you don't have to do all these exercises at once. You can do them one at a time. You can do them throughout the day, at the office, whatever it is. But first things first, there's a couple things we can do. Number one, literally just ankle circles. And no, not this. This is not an ankle circle, right? This is just doing, this is doing the, this is doing the stanky leg, right? We do, we're not doing the stanky leg. We're not doing stanky leg, we're doing ankle circles. How you wanna do this? Put your foot over like this in front of you, plantar flex, and we're gonna rotate all the way. We're gonna try and go as far around around as we can, right? We're gonna go all the way around the clock one way and we're the opposite way. You literally do this three times each way and be completely fine. Now you can always do this seated as well too. You don't have to do it standing. I'm just standing and I like standing. So we can just do this, do one around five times each side and then do five times on the other side and do about three sets, super simple. My favorite things to do is Basically getting out of bed is super simple and you can do this as soon as you wake up or you can do it when you're in your office. You're sleeping and you, trust me, your bed's not a bench, but let's just pretend this is a bench. Oh, wake up in the morning, it's great. Oh, beautiful day outside, I gotta work today. Kids bugging me, who cares? And you kind of just sit here, put your feet down and we're just gonna basically go into a rag doll seated. We're just gonna let ourselves get it loose in between our legs and we're gonna breathe in and exhale and let herself just hang over. And this is gonna help just decompress our lower back. Whereas I like to sit here and let herself just loosen right up from here. Super easy from the back. Now you can always do this as well too as a rag doll by just doing the same thing standing up. You're one of my favorite ones to do as soon as I wake up. Super easy, as soon as you get up, let yourself completely flex. Head's gonna flex your C-spine, your T-spine and your L-spine are gonna flex and go all the way down. If your mobility is not that good, bend your knees a little bit, it's completely fine. So you're gonna be here and then we're gonna let ourselves just relax and hang over. I'm gonna keep my legs flexed so you can see what happens when you relax. So right now, my hands are basically touching the ground. When I take a deep breath in and exhale, I start to get deeper. And taking those deep breaths in and out helps relax your body and the muscles to loosen up. And you can see how I'm getting more and more flexibility throughout my back. And then I'm gonna grab both arms like this and just kind of sway each side, just like that. And it's one of the most relaxing things to do and then slowly come back up by starting from the L-spine first, T-spine, and the C-spine, and you're up. Namaste, super easy. Now, Moving through the rest of these movements, these are some movements that are a must for me, especially if you're a gym head like myself and growing some glutes and put a lot of mass on your hips, and all of a sudden you're sitting down and you're trying to tie your shoe and you can't tie your shoe because you, your hips are, you can't even get your, I used to not be able, I would be like this and then my leg would just flop off. Doing this, and you can tell that I'm pretty tight. I've been working all day and I'm pretty tight, but if we can't do this with ease, we're tight through the hips. So how do we do this? We can do pigeon pose to kind of loosen up our hips and our glutes, right? But not a lot of time, people have enough flexibility to be like this. It's not, and even me looking like I'm flexible right now, my butt isn't down. My butt should be on the floor and this leg should be out here like this. So from here, this isn't that good of a stretch for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a bench. You can do this at the gym when you're done. Put the incline to where you need to, wherever you're, wherever you're able to in terms of your flexibility. Put your foot in the crevice here. Let your leg lean flush against the bench. And then from here, twist to your knee and let that back leg drop. And you can adjust it, go back a little further, but let it drop. And then we're gonna try and get deeper and deeper. And then we can push our chest to our knee, which is gonna 
stretch the butt even more. And if I want even more of a stretch, I'm gonna let my weight drop even more and I'm gonna use my hands to keep me stable. I'm gonna find a place where it's like stretched like crazy. Ooh, that's a stretch. I'm gonna hold it here for a bit until that stretch goes from like a 10 discomfort to like a six discomfort. And then I'll readjust myself again. Then I'll drop even lower and just twist this side. It's like that. Do the same side, same thing, the other side, so you guys can get an idea what it looks like. My right side hip is a little messed up. So I'm here, I'm gonna push myself back, and myself drop slowly. And right now I'm feeling a lot of intensity right here. So I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. I'm gonna lean to that side a little more just to stretch it out, and I'm gonna hold it here. I'm gonna wait till that discomfort goes from a 10 down to a six, and I'll do it again. And that's a great exercise to help loosen your glutes. Now another way you can do this too is if you don't have the mobility to do this, and I'm going back to the days when I was too big to do these exercises, I found a way to do this and I've made this video before and I'll do it again. Easy move to do. If I wanna do this, stretch to stretch the glutes and back, and if I don't have the ability to keep my foot like this or even get a stretch or my leg keeps flopping off, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take your medium-sized band Wrap it on the outside of your foot. You're gonna pull your foot, basically like this, and put it on your knee. Then you're gonna take this, and you're gonna wrap it around your back. Like that, and then leave it here. And then now you have your foot in place. You can relax, you can kind of push. You take this arm here and hold this and push this leg like this. Or we can just stay like this and we can fall over, stretching our lower back as well too, and is still getting a good stretch in our glutes and relaxing here. Again, stretching to feel the discomfort. It's a good discomfort. Not a sharp pain, but just like a hot pain. Feel it there when it's at a 10, sit there until it's around a six. And then go a little deeper and do about three sets of that. So while we're on the ground, some great things to do for our lower back, our cat and cow pose. Now, what's this look like? Super easy. Let's make sure we're stacking the joints. Our fist, or this, in this point, our wrist, elbows, and shoulders are on top of each other. Our knees, our, our width of our knees are gonna be the same width of our hands from here. We're gonna push our toes into the ground, and from here, we're gonna pull our chest down and up and our butt back, and then we're gonna push and protract for our cat. And pushing all the way up and stretching, Pulling those shoulder blades away from each other, pushing into the ground, pushing your stomach or your, your belly button to the top of the ceiling, and then sinking it again, pushing up. And like this. Stretch. What we're doing is we're just loosening up our scaps and our lower back by moving them to a functional range of motion. So we're actively stretching our lower back and our shoulders. Now a couple things too, while we're here in this position, which is great, a lot of us don't really think too much of our wrists and mobility in our wrists. A lot of us probably don't have good mobility in our wrists. So what do we do here? Simple from here. While we're in this cat and cow pose, right here, it's pretty simple. Make sure we're spreading our fingers, our hands, and we can kind of just kind of do circles around this way. Now this isn't that challenging because I'm in a very easy position. My hands are facing not quite naturally where they normally do. If we want to make it more challenging, we're going to open up like this. And we're going to start doing this and rotating on the outsides, long circles. And if we want to make it more challenging, we can put it back even more like this and roll around each side. And that's going to help open up your wrists. But a lot of times when we have elbow issues, tennis elbow, whatever, most of the time, sometimes it's coming right from a chain reaction of having very stiff wrists. Super simple to do. You can also do these on the wall as well too. I like doing them on the ground while I'm doing my cat and claw pose. Mostly all the stretches I do when I'm on the floor, I'll make sure I do them on the floor. I'm not going up and down and up and down to make it easier for you. Now, we've done our ankles, we've done our glutes. What about the knees? What do we do for that? A couple things we can do for knees. Basically, stretching your hip flexors and knees at the same time. What I like to do is grab a band like this, put it on the back leg, and I'm stretching right up by the glute, right here, right here, and then I'm going to put my knee down like this, and then I'm gonna let the, let the resistance pull me in while I push that knee forward, while I'm keeping my chest up. Remember, my chest is gonna stay, or my toes is gonna stay the same angle as my shin. So from here, I'm stretching my hip flexor and my knee a bit, and then from here, I'm gonna push back and stretch my hamstring. Just like this, pull your toes up. From here, making sure we keep our hips in alignment and not one is going one way or the other. And then letting it stretch and getting a little deeper into it here. Keep your chest up, pushing into your knee, forward, and then coming back and switching it up. Just like this, super simple from here. Go the level you can go, your mobility. You might be up here, you might need to keep up a little taller, but from here, we wanna stretch that hamstring, pulling our chest to our knee, 
and flex the hamstring and then switch sides. Some other easy ones we can do for hips as well too. Back on the floor from here in that same position we were before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the leg up and we're gonna draw circles with our knee. Big long circles going in, going out, and trying to keep our hips down and flat, not opening up and doing this, right? So opening up and back, opening up and back. And just drawing circles with the knee and then going the opposite way. And that's gonna help loosen up your hips. Now we've done a bit from just from floor to core already. Let's move up to our shoulders. I've made this one up myself. Being a bodybuilder and seeing a lot of the issues for us when it comes to shoulders is a lot of time external rotation and internal rotation or the inability to be able to open our back up and opening our shoulders up. So what I did is I found that taking a band like this, now I would just go with your fitness level in terms of the strength of this band. I'm a bigger guy more muscle density. I'm gonna get close to this. Put my hands behind my back like this, like I was doing a back lat spread. Leave them there, my back of my fists are gonna be right on my hip. And I'm just gonna keep my chest up, I'm gonna walk back a little bit. And I'm just gonna let the resistance band pull my shoulders apart. And just do this, and I'm gonna stay there, and just hold it, keep my chest up a bit, and that's gonna stretch it a bit, and I'm gonna breathe out. Walk back a bit more and let it stretch me out. Hold my chest up. I'm gonna feel a nice stretch right in the front of my delts. And then I'm gonna feel a nice stretch coming from the back, opening up my scaps. Very simple stuff to do to help loosen you up. Moving on to the top of our shoulders too. Again, easy ones you can do in the morning called shoulder cars, circular articular rotations. You wanna basically just stand here. You could do them on the wall. You've probably seen this done on the wall before where someone goes to the wall and does circles. And basically, the goal is how close can you go to the wall and do these circles without having to open up your shoulder to do it. And for the most part, you'll find out how mobile your shoulders are by doing it. Give it a try. But for this sake, we're just gonna start from here, hand down by our side, thumbs pointing out. We're gonna bring the hand all the way up, extending so we wanna push the hand away, all the way to the top, pushing away. While it's at the top, from here, we're gonna flip that thumb to the outside while we reach back and keep going on the way back. Now what we want to avoid is getting to the top, doing this, and then opening up. We wanna make sure we keep our shoulders square this entire time. That's gonna help open that shoulder cap. And why we rotate that finger? Because it's gonna help open up your shoulder cap, right? Doing this, right, internally rotating my shoulder. I'm rotating that, that, bo that bone in that socket a bit reaching back and then really getting some good movement in my shoulder cap, right? And do the same thing the other side. You might find one side is harder than the other and that's very normal. Remember a few things from this, we wanna push away the entire time. So when I'm here, I'm pushing up. When I'm flipping my, uh, my thumb the other way, I'm pushing back. I'm basically taking this shoulder joint, trying to pull it out and stretch it outside. So think about your shoulder being in a socket like this and us doing this and pulling it a bit, just let it get a little loose in there. That's basically what we're doing. Doing those are great. Before you work out, easy one, grab some bands. Or if you have a broomstick that's long enough for you to be able to do this, we're gonna do a shoulder overpass. Basically just taking the hands like this, extending them and pulling up. Remember, we're always pushing the hands away the entire time and then down all the way to the back and then coming all the way up to the front, all the way to the back. Again, take a deep breath in and just like this. Do those. 10 times, three sets. Take your time, these are very passive movements. Don't wrench yourself in these positions at all. Slowly get into them. Let, them, let yourself melt into each position. So that exercise is gonna help with opening up your chest. But some other ways to open up your chest too are really good and I'm suggesting doing these after you train is again, this, doing this to help your chest isn't the best thing to do. This is wrenching your shoulder. What you wanna do is basically put your hand here, don't have it down like this, we can have it up a tiny bit here, right? And then we're just gonna turn slightly away, opening the chest up from here. We get a nice little stretch right across our chest and open up. Again, we don't wanna wrench ourselves open. We wanna just open to feel that little bit of the 10 discomfort of a hot pain there. And then we kinda of just sit there for about a few seconds until it simmers down to about a six. Then we do it again. Both arms, super simple. Remember again, we don't wanna be up here like this and we don't wanna be like down like this. 90 degrees, a little bit higher is completely fine. Making sure the hand is completely on the rack or the wall or the door frame from here. Chest is up and we're just gonna slightly turn 
and stretch that chest. Just like that. Super easy. And then we can utilize these bars again too. And I like doing this just to help pull my shoulder and my scap open from here. And just basically like this and just rotating. Right, I'm holding and I'm rotating. And all I'm doing here is I'm opening up my shoulder and my scap from here. And I'm gonna walk back a bit and just open it up and just hold and open. Let your body weight do the work. Don't try and muscle your way into these movements. You'll feel them as they go. Super easy. Same side of the side from here and stretching it right open. This is, some, this is somewhat almost like doing thread the needle on the ground. For the most part, some people can't do that. So if you can't do thread the needle, this is perfectly fine as well too. Now as we're done, I've done all these exercises, last but not least, really easy. Just move your head around. When you're doing mobility for your neck, we don't have to wrench your neck and pull it down. What we wanna do is move it. And next here, we wanna look to one side and then start in the middle and look the other side and start in the middle. Look down and just look up, right? And breathe. And don't force these stretches. We wanna stretch the muscle, we wanna injure ourselves. So every movement that I just showed you, take your time with it. Throw on some music, I don't know, make it sexy. Make the ambiance comfortable. And get yourself committed to making sure we're doing at least a couple of stretches every day. You don't have to stretch this entire routine every single day. You can pick the ones you wanna do on the days that you're training that muscle group. Oh, if you have any time, you can do some of these while you're at work. Some of you guys work at home. Maybe while you're just watching TV. Find the best time to do them so you can commit to doing them so we can create the reward system that when you're doing these, the reward is I'm getting more flexible, I'm getting more mobile, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting more loose, I'm enjoying this, and we create habits of doing this all the time. All right guys, that is it for some of my essential mobility exercise that you can all be doing right now to help increase your flexibility and mobility. Remember guys, this is gonna just make everything else in life that much better. The by factor, the byproduct of a healthy body is a good looking body, and a good looking body is one that can run through its full range of motion fluently. Anyway guys, for more videos like this, and more such as you want me to go over, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, you know how it is, Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. <laughs>